What is going on guys, Nickel here, and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in SnowRunner on the PlayStation 4. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Fuel Economy, which is to travel through every region on a single tank of fuel. You are going to have to travel through every region on each map, so that being to Michigan, Alaska, and Russia in order to get this trophy. But while you're going for some of the missions and you're doing some of the tasks, you are going to naturally just have to drive through every single region at one time. So anyway, with all that being said, let's get right into this video. I do live stream all my Platinum Trophies and various other games over on Twitch, so if you want to go follow me, there is a link down in the description below. So anyway, what you have to do for this trophy is you have to travel through every region on every map on a single tank of fuel. Now, I kind of forgot about this single tank of fuel aspect, and I put a, a fuel tanker on the back of my truck, which I didn't have to do. So anyway, to start off, you have Michigan. So what's the way that you want to go through Michigan? Uh, you want to start in Smithsville Dam. You want to back out to Black River. And then you want to drive around a little bit in Black River. Go back into Smithsville Dam. Then go to uh, Drummond Lake or, or Lake uh, Island Lake. And then you want to end on Drummond Island. And you should be able to get to all of those um, sections pretty easily. Right now, we are driving through um, Island Lake, and then we'll get into Drummond Island. Now, for Alaska, you want to start in White Valley, go to North Point, go to Mountain River, and then go to Pedro Bay. You're probably going to naturally do this because I believe in Alaska, there's only um, two garages, that being in White Valley and maybe Mountain River. Um or Pedro Bay, I think that there's only two garages, so it kind of forces you to kind of start in one map and kind of go all over the place. So you'll probably naturally just get that one while picking up things and going here and going there. And then the last one is Russia. You want to go um, from Drowned Lands uh, to Quarry to Zimningorst. Now, they did add a fourth region into Russia. I can't remember the exact name of it. I think it's called Rift. Rift is in Quarry, so basically going from the Drowned Lands to Quarry, there's like a main road that goes through Quarry that will get you to Zimningorst. You can back out of Zimningorst and then go right up to Rift if you do have to do that. Now, using a certain truck for this, I mean, you can really use whatever you want to. While I was playing through the game, I realized that a lot of the Russian trucks are, like, perfect for everything in this game. They're very fuel efficient. They rarely get stuck in anything that you go through. So if you are starting the game off new, I would highly suggest to kind of do the Russia area first, even though it can be a bit tricky. Um... Right after you do the tutorial in Michigan, there will be a international truck there, and I use that for a majority of the game at the beginning, but you can use that truck for a lot of things in Russia. And then this truck that I'm using right here, which is probably by far the best truck in the game, the Tega, you can get the uh, you can find the Tega truck on drowned islands or drowned lands in uh, Russia. So it's literally the first map. And it's right at the starting area. There'll be a mission to kind of fix this truck up and you'll get it right away. Obviously, you need to find like a lift kit and stuff for it later on, which will make it a little more efficient while going through areas. But it's a great truck. It's always got all-wheel drive on. It's always got the diff lock on. It's powerful. It will literally never get stuck in like anything. So the Tega is like a go-to um, for getting through stuff. And it was really the only truck that I, that I was using in the game once I was playing through, but unfortunately I ended most of my playthrough. Actually, my middle playthrough was in Russia because I ended on um, Alaska, but it, I would suggest to go get the Tega. It will literally make the game super easy for you, and um, if, if you're struggling, of course, and all around it's a great truck. It has great uh, fuel efficiency, and, and I couldn't say a single bad thing about it. So, all in all, what do I think of the game? It's very fun. It can be a bit frustrating at times, but it's a simulation game, so what do you expect? I did get a little burnt out while I was playing through, and I was going to put the game down, but I decided to kind of just truck through, uh, no pun intended there, and kind of get the game done. I don't, I'm not saying that in a bad way at all. Like I really, really, really did enjoy all the time that I was playing 
this game and it was a lot of time to play through the game and get the platinum but the game tracks everything every stat every task every challenge every content everything that you do in the game um it tracks it very well and there were some um issues when the game first came out with tracking things uh improperly and and kind of missing things but all in all they fixed all of those they they ironed out all those bugs and glitches and um there's still a few glitches here and there but it's nothing like super game breaking so Anyway, we are going into Drummond Island here, and then once we load in, we'll get this trophy. Now, when I was going for this, I didn't even realize that you had to do the other maps, so I, like, accidentally did the other ones while I was playing through. So, there we go. There's our trophy fuel economy, and then we will finally get this beautiful platinum trophy, one with the truck. Really fun game. It took a lot of time to get through, a lot of frustrations at time, but anyway, let's take a look at the list. So here it is, 100% with a Platinum, no DLC or anything so far, and as you're looking through the list here, you're going to see that there's a lot of trophies that are related just to, like, doing tasks and doing things in the game. So this is a game that f uh, will backload a lot of the trophies. You'll have to put a lot of time in, but then you'll start earning a lot of trophies at, like, one time. There's not too many things that you can kind of get right at the beginning. There's a few things here or there, but a lot of the trophies are backloaded, so you're going to have to put a significant amount of time in to kind of start earning a significant amount of the trophies but all in all the game tracks everything it tracks the trophies in the game so you know what progress you're making towards things and it's very uh trophy friendly when it comes to the game which is great to see from newer games because it does make things a little bit easier anyway here's the profile trophy level 44 1 percent i've got 11,604 total trophies got 7,963 bronze 2,567 silver 907 golds 167 platinums and like i said 11,600 and four total trophies and do if you're into that numbers kind of stuff and here's the platinum trophy itself one with the truck so the big question that you're probably asking is snow runner or mud runner which one do i go for because these are somewhat of the same games snow runner is obviously the sequel to mud runner and when it comes down to it if you're looking at getting into the simulation type of game simulation off-roading games because that's what these are I would have to suggest going with um, Mud Runner first, just because from a trophy standpoint and a gameplay standpoint, there's not too much to that game. It's very bare bones. There's a lot of tutorials, and the maps are you know somewhat smaller. There's only really a few things that you can deliver throughout the game, so it's a much um, more basic game. It's kind of like a tech demo more or less when it comes down to it, because that was a game that was on Steam for like the longest time, only on PC. So it finally came to consoles, and I would say it was more or less a tech demo. When you get into Snow Runner here, there's a lot more uh, content in the game. More more customization, way bigger maps, more trucks, more customizable things, uh, more things to deliver. I mean, essentially, you are a delivery man for this game, so it, it's literally like a death stranding, um, more or less, but uh, or a strand type game, more or less. But um, if you are looking at getting into it, it, it is a fairly um, enjoyable game. Like I said, it did take me a significant amount of time. There were times that I kind of wanted to put the game down and move on and do other things and come back, but I was determined to get through. I was determined to get everything done, and it's just the type of game where if you're enjoying what you're doing and you're enjoying playing the game, you can literally sit there for hours at time and not even realize how long you're actually playing the game, which to me is, uh, is somewhat fun. So let's get down to a few numbers. So, um, how would I rate this game out of 10 from a difficulty standpoint? It depends if you want to kind of use certain trucks like the Azov. Um, I think it's like 64 something, which is basically like a cheat code to the game. Or you want to run the Tega, those two Russian, really any Russian truck is going to make the game significantly easier. So if you're going to go with easier trucks and you're going to kind of use those to get through the game, which isn't really like cheating or anything, you're just using the better trucks. Um, I would have to rate this probably like a four or five out of 10. It's pretty average. There's nothing really too difficult about it. I mean, there are difficulties with the game when it comes to kind of like figuring out what routes you want to go and, you know, possibly tipping the truck every once in a while with a load on the back of it and delivering some pretty uh, ridiculous loads. But 
when it comes down to it, really anyone can do it as long as you have a little bit of common sense. So I wouldn't say it's too difficult, four or five, pretty pretty average when it comes to difficulty. Now, when it comes to time it takes to get the platinum, uh, you're talking a significant amount of time. But that can be cut in half if you do the game in co-op. Now, I'm not sure how everything works in co-op. I'm not sure if you do tax, tasks, if it counts for your partner. I believe it does. Um, you can kind of help your partners get certain trophies, but um, I believe the tasks do count through co-op. So if you do want to do the game in co-op, I don't think it changes like the the load amounts that you have to deliver to certain areas. It's still the same amount of loads. So the more people you have, kind of the faster you can get through tasks and get stuff done, which uh, will make it a lot easier. Playing the game solo 100% by yourself, which is what I did because the co-op was kind of broken when the game first came out. It took me anywhere between 80 to 100 hours, and that's a pretty big gap, but just because there were times that I wasn't really doing anything. So it's kind of hard for me to quantify how long it took me to actually get through the game, but anywhere between 80 to 100 hours for me personally doing it all by myself. But if you do have one or two other people to play through, you're going to cut that time in half and it'll probably be even more enjoyable to play with other people. So pretty average difficulty can take a, dis a decent amount of time if you play by yourself, but can be cut in half significantly or cut down significantly if you do play with other people or you do play in co-op. So anyway, with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. In the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff, my Twitter, my Twitch, other videos like this, my Discord. So if you want to go check any of that stuff out, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, like I said, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. And I hope to see you all around sometime soon.